Okay, hello everyone. Now, now first, first, you should open your IntelliJ IDE. Okay, and about the Bitcoin RPC project code, I, I also, I, I already, I already shared the Bitcoin RPC source code to WeChat. Okay, so if you don't, if you don't finish this code. You can download and import your IDA, okay? So now let's open it. Okay, let's open it. Bit open Bitcoin RPC. Okay, first uh, you should uh, talk, uh, you should your open your Bitcoin RPC code. Okay, yeah. This is this is this is our code. This is our code. Yesterday we finished we finished here. Okay, so yesterday yesterday we right here right here six sixteen one and sixty four this line. Okay, code response. Go get status line and get status code. It's very very simple. It's it's very very important. It's a status code. Status code. Can you do you know status code? Do you know status code? Yes. Status code. Speak Chinese. Chinese speaking. 状态码. 状态码, okay. There are there are there are a piece of a piece of this code like uh, like this. We can see. We can we we can know. It. Look look this. We can look this. It's TDP status. Press control control. Move on uh, move 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 your mouse to 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 here and uh, click. Okay. You can find this. One hundred. 101, 102, okay, 200, 201, 202, 200, so, and then, 300, 400, okay, there are several, there are several, there are, there, there are, there are several serial code are very, very, uh, very very usually how to speak how to speak uh, 经常, very very usually you will 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 get it you will get it likely one SC OK 200 okay yeah and another, do you know? Do you know? Not found. Do you know? Do you know? Not found. Yeah. Do you know? Four zero four. Yeah. And another, another is bad gateway. Five five zero x. Okay. Do you know? Yeah. So. So, you should you should remember this this code, likely two zero zero four zero four five zero one five zero two. Do you understand? Yes. yes. So the first one, the first one we should remember is status code. Speak Chinese. 状态码. Do you know 状态码? 状态, status, okay? Yeah, so I say, okay. It's very important, it's very important. Most, most used is okay, okay? Yeah, I say okay is most useful, okay? 
yeah, it's most most used. Okay, I say not found. Not found is also most used. Sorry. Okay, do you know? I say there are four. Okay, okay. So, use proxy. Three zero five. Okay. So, also sometimes, or sometimes, or you also you also get the four zero one. I oh sorry oh oh sorry oh. I uh, author 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 unauthorized uh, authorized uh, authorized uh, okay answer yes. Unth authorized 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 okay very good okay okay if you if you know the unauthorized do you remember yesterday we write uh, unauthorized uh, author resistance do you know? Like this. Look, look our look, look our code. There is a in my in my post in my post my post invoke a function set header okay and set the header author author resistance author author resistance sorry how to speak how to speak it. Authorization. Authorization. Okay. Yeah. Like this. If you if you don't if you you have no 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 this no this line no this set if you don't set header. Okay. Okay. So we will we will get the we will get the error we will get the error we will get error. This serious code. Okay, so remember. Okay, so now go back. Go back. If if SCP status is uh, SC, okay, it means we request a success. Do you know there is no error when when uh, there is no error? Do you understand? We get the we get the answer request the answer okay okay so now now if we get if we request the success we can get the response we can get the response how to speak how to write how to write you can you can write like this response. Invoke, invoke, invoke a response foundation name get entity. Do you know get entity? Do you remember get entity? Yes. Yes. When we when we send a request yesterday, we defy a post entity. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yes. We put the entity to the HTTP post request. Okay. So. This is the this is the HTTP entity.
Okay, like this is okay. So there is an error. You should import class. You should import it. You should import class. Okay, just like this. Okay, enter, press enter and enter. Select the first one. Import class is okay. Okay. So R E S entity. Sorry. <coughs> Sorry. We can entity. We can use another API. Entity utils invoke. This function to string, okay, and then input the res entity, okay, string result like this. Do you understand? Now we already we get the result. Result. Included, included by by HTTP entity. So now, if you write like me, you can write system out front line results. Is R E S U L T is okay. Okay, do you understand? Yes. Okay, so. One condition we saw, we fix, and uh, if we we get a uh, we get an error, it means request uh, no success. So we should show we should show a message. Show a uh, message. Show error message. Show the error message like this. Okay, so we can system out print line the status code because we know error code mute means so this 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 line are useful. This line are useful. We can delete it. Okay, do you understand me? We just uh, we just write uh, we just write uh, two code, two line, two line, two line code. Okay, do you know? Yes. So now, now. Okay, I have a question. Now, 
Can I run? Can I run this this code? Can I run this project? If 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 I run this code, what happened? Do you understand? Do you understand? Everyone can tell to me. Can tell me. What will happen? Uh, do you have this one, this one? So now you should you should look look now. I I want to I want to run this code. Okay, you write the key like like this. Write the key run. Okay. Yes. Oh, why? Why? Bitcoin core. Why? Bitcoin core. Yeah. Who can tell me? Who can tell me? Why? I I I get I get this error. I get this error. Why? I mean, you First, we should run Bitcoin Core. So now, click open open Bitcoin Core. Open Bitcoin Core. Okay, like this, like this. Okay, so now. We have a try again. We have a try again. Okay, so, so like this. Do you understand? So now, now you can you can copy, you can copy like this. You can copy like this. Okay, do you understand? You can copy like this. Come. Press Control C and uh, Control V. So and uh, then and uh, then Okay, like this, like this. We, I have, I, I, I got, I give you a, I give you a call.
Okay, like this. So, sorry. Okay, like this. Sorry. Do you understand me? Okay, so if you get the get the, if you get the, if you get the result, RBC result, okay. So you can copy, you can copy this, you can copy, uh, the copy this result to yeah to the to a website, okay. So so the the, the website the website is. Uh, if the website can help you, can help you from this, 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 So it's bad because because you don't you you you, you don't configure configure this one car. You should configure this one car. A lot of RPC service first. Uh, this one car RPC service we configure this. You don't care. So <coughs> you should, 
into the rest of the So everyone can 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 get this, okay? Okay. So now, now you can you can get the JSON format, okay? JSON format. JSON format is uh, is this like this? Results pyro ID, okay? Okay. So so. Have you remember? Do you remember? Do you remember? Yesterday I told you. Do you do you remember? Yesterday I told you about uh, two JSON entity. Do you know? The first one. First one. First one is request entity JSON. For Jason, sorry, for Jason, likely this about uh, four keys. One is ID. Second, uh, Jason RPC. Third, method. Do you understand? Function name. Come on, come on, sorry, sorry, sorry. Bitcoin, Bitcoin, curl, come on. Okay, do you understand that? So, the, the, the last is Paramus, P A R A M S. This is a uh, this is a uh, JSON array. Do you know JSON array? Do you remember JSON array? Do you know like this? Okay, like this, one or zero. So 
This is the request entity for job uh, for JSON. Okay. So now, now look 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 at this. Look at this. Result error ID is the second second JSON entity. Okay. It's two response entity for JSON like this. Like this, ID The second key is Error If there is an error, the error will contain, okay, do you know? Yes Now, if, if no error, so this value is now, okay? So, the second is the very important, important Data is a result. Do you understand? Yes, result. Okay. So now, now, now you 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 can get this result is a string. Do you understand? Do you understand? Is a string. And uh, and. Uh, When we when we get another when we when we invoke another RPC service, this result may be a number, or this result may be an object. This result may be a JSON array. Do you understand? So so the result type the result type data type data type of the result. Is no, is no, is no. Uh, how to speak? 固定的 How to speak? 固定的固定Do you understand? I uh, I'm certain. Do you know? Yes. Data type. Sorry. Data type of result. Okay. Data type result of result is uncertain. Is uncertain. Do you understand? When when we when we invoke when we invoke. When we invoke get block hash data type result is a string. Maybe maybe result is a number. Maybe result is a object. Maybe result is a array. A R R A Y. Okay? It's an array. Do you know? Do you know? Maybe result is a boolean. Okay? So Data type of result is uncertain. Uncertain. You should remember. You should remember. So okay. So uncertain. Okay. Can you understand? I mean, can you understand? Yes. yes. You should. You should remember this. Because you will write this to your project paper. Okay? To explain how you finish your project. Okay? This is the key. This is the key. Key, key knowledge. <laughs> Do you understand? Yes. Okay, so now. RPC request entity and response entity. Okay. 
Okay, so if you if you can if you can follow me if you can follow me now we will forget we will refactor this code we will refactor it why why we refactor this code why why we why we need to refactor this code why who can tell me why we need to refactor this code I say why we need to refactor this code why? Now we already finished. We already finished code. Why we need to refactor this code? Do you know refactor? Why we need refactor? Because look at this, look at this. Because you can find ID is a number. I said, okay. So do you understand? Change list. Do you know? So you will find uh, this ID is changeless, okay? Uh, method is uh, changeless, and uh, the parameters also changeless. Do you understand? Do you understand? If I want to, if I want to invoke another, if I want to invoke another command, okay? I I I just uh, I I oh, I I I should I should I should I should change this code right now. Once I once I want to get another one, I should change once. I understand it. So it's very very unfriendly. Oh, sorry, sorry. It's my my English is so poor. So, do you do you know my my English my English my English R E F A C T R? This is this is this is wrong factor. Wrong factor. Wrong factor. How how to speak it? Wrong. How to speak? Wrong factor. Re. Refactor. Yeah. Yeah. This is my me. Okay. Refactor. Okay. Refactor is this. Like this. Refactor. Wrong factor. Refactor. Okay. So. So now. Now I will refactor this project code. Okay. So first. Usually, usually we refactor refactor project code by by different package. Do you understand? Yes. By different package. Do you remember the first project code? There are several packages, different packages, likely uh, chain, likely utils, like. Uh, Consensors like a block. Do you know? Do you know? Yes, this is very likely to the surface of the project. Okay, similar. This is uh, this, here, here, here is similar to the first block as uh, the first project. Sorry. Okay, so now first, first we create we create a new package. Okay, create a new package. Like name, name HTTP util HTTP utils 
is okay. Okay, can you understand me? Yeah, new, new, uh, uh, create a new package, create a new package, and then create, create a Java class. Java class. Okay, so we can we can define a uh, HTTP util HTTP utils HTTP request the utils sorry execute is okay HTTP execute do you know execute util HTTP execute execute util okay so we can write a comment. Comment. Okay. This HTTP exe C U T E util is a is a tor. Tor is a tor. What? What tor? That that can do do. Send, sorry, send, send a request, send a post request, post, send a request, like, like, get, and uh, all post. So, if you can ask me, you can, you can, you can get the comment. Can you understand me according to the comment? Do you understand? I mean, yes, sir. Okay. Okay, can you follow me? Yes, so So, okay, public, luckily Static Do Execute a post request. And return result. Okay. Okay. So, what should we do? 
We just uh, move some code to here. Do you understand? Because uh, this is a refactor. Re refactor, okay? So we just uh, move some code to here. Is okay? Do you understand? Yes. So. So. Like this. First, uh, we should. First, uh, we should move this. Press Control C. Press Control C to here. So the first one, first one, define, define a client object. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yes. So, the second, the second, we should move. We should move. HTTP post. Okay? HTTP post. Define a post. So, like this, sorry. So, can you understand? Can you understand? Yes. But you will find a question. You will find a problem. What? What? What problem? You will find a problem. What problem? This, this URL is a uh, Change this. Do you understand? So, if you if you change your Bitcoin card configuration files, for example, you change the RPC port 8332 to another number, uh, 8331. Do you know? So you you have to change this. Do you understand? So this is this is my me. Very very unfriendly. Do you understand? So what should we do? What should we do? The URL is the change. You are fine, okay? You are what should we do? We should uh, we should uh, let So, look, like this, like this, okay? So, we add a parameter for this function, okay? String, you are little. So, and then, delete, you are little. Do you understand me? Okay? Do you understand me? Yes. So now you add a parameter for this function. So you should you should add the comment. You should add the comment. Parameter URL. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yeah. HTTP post URL. This is very friendly. Any URL what you want, you want to do, do you know? Any URL, URL you want to do, do you understand? It's okay. So, and then, and then, you will also, you also will find, you are, oh, you also will find, Find 
we set the post header and the post set entity. Do you understand? Do you understand? Post the set header and post the set entity. Do you know? So we should we should post set header. Okay, like this. Okay, copy here. Copy here. But so look, look, set header first. You will find the same problem. You will find this problem, <coughs> the same problem, like a URL. Do you understand me? The this header header authorization author authorization and the value is changes. Do you understand? Yeah. What should we do? Yeah. What should we do? Same to URL. Okay. So we should now we should add another a new parameter to the extrude host function. Okay. Do you understand? So, so, you will find, you will find, there are two parts for header. <coughs> two parts. One is key. The first one is key. Like the authority. Do you understand? The second part is the, the value. Do you understand? Yeah. This, what, what, what's the time? What's the time? We should, we should, uh, how to speak, how to speak, how, how, sorry, how, how to write, like, like this. You should uh, add a new parameter for exit post function. Like this. Math. String. Do you know element type? Do you know element type? Element type. Okay, do you understand? Header. So, just uh, like, like this. Okay, can you understand me? Map, map has two parts. One part is key. The second part is value. Do you understand? Very likely similar to this. One is name, two is the value. Do you understand? So now we sh we will we will change we will we will we will get the data get the key and the value from header map and put every header. Do you understand? Because the head map is a is a container. It may can it it can it contains maybe it, the head the head map maybe contains uh, multi data. Do you know more than more than one? Do you know more than one? Do you know? So what should we do? What should we do? How to iterate a hash map? How to iterate a map? How to? How to iterate? Do you know iterator? How to iterate a map? 
First, uh, you should get the key set. Yeah. Do you understand? And second, uh, you should get a value by key. <laughs> Do you understand? Yes. yes. So we should uh, write it like this: e for header. Only header is not null. We input. We get the value, a key and a value from header map and uh, invoke the set header. Do you understand? Do you understand? So, so, header map. Okay. Do you know key set An Shu Qi? Key set. Set do you know? Do you know set? Set is a list. Do you understand? Yeah. So key set is only key. Is all of the key of map. Do you understand? Do you know? Only key. In key side, okay? All of the all keys, all keys, okay? Yes. Get all keys. Go keys. Of map. Can you understand? So now the second we can for for is do you know for is string key keys so this key is every key do you understand so now we can we can string value assign header map get key this is the value. Do you know? Do you know? Like this, we can we can iterate this head map. This we can iterate this map. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yeah. We now we have we have get the key and get the value. Every key and every uh, value. So we can move. We can move. This, this, this. Okay, so de delete key and value. Okay, can you understand me? I mean, can you understand me? Can you tell me that how to explain this, 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 
Okay, so do you understand me? Do you understand? So this is this is we we have to we have we have we have finished post the side header and uh, as you know as you know we there are also there are also a function set entity. Do you know set entity? Post the set entity. Yeah. So we should. Uh, Post set entity. So now there is no entity. What should we do? What should we do? What should we do? We can likely this. We define a entity string entity. Do you know? Yes. So like this. Like this. String entity. Entity, okay. Do you understand? So, and the new string entity, and then we can set entity like this. Can you understand me? Do you understand me? Do you understand me? Okay. That uh, let's 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 finish this code. We take a break, okay? Okay, we finish this. Okay, so you will look look at this. Look look picture. Look 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 this picture. You will find the same problem. You will find the same problem. When you define an entity, when you define a string entity and a set entity. To the post, you will find the uh, same problem. There is an error. Do you understand? There is an error. What should we do? What should we do? There is an error. You know, uh, you know. What should we do? So, if you, if you, if you can, if you can. Look, the test mine code. You should find a string entity need a parameter. JSON to string. Do you understand? Yes. But now, but now, we have we have no JSON. Do you understand? So what should we do? And uh, first, uh, we have no JSON. Second, uh, JSON, JSON. Is uh, no concern. This data is no concern. No certain. Do you know certain? It's uncertain. Sorry, sorry. It's uncertain. Do you know? So we should uh, add uh, the third parameter. Do you know? We put we put the post data as a parameter. So do you understand? Do you understand? So like this. Like this. So we should now we should add the third parameter. String string post data. For all all, all all data is okay. Also data is okay. Do you understand? Okay, so like this. String data. Okay. Can you understand? Can you understand? Yes. So when when we when we modify like this, there is a red line because it may be maybe produce an exception. What should we do? We just uh, surround with uh, try catch. Is okay. 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 Okay, can you understand me? Can you understand? 
there is a there is a third parameter named data. Name data like this, okay? So can you understand? Okay, so so entity there are set content type. So you will find you will also find application JSON is changeless. Do you find it? Do you find it? <coughs> application JSON. Okay, it's changeless. So what should we do? What should we do? We should uh, we should add the false parameter. Do you understand? That? Like a string content type. Can you understand me? So like this. Okay, set content type. Can you understand? Okay, so finally, finally, we should set the char sect. Entity set content encoding. Okay, including is uh, is uh, is a changeless is uh, is okay because uh, the UTF eight is uh, is 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 useful. Do you know? Yes. So standard okay. String uh, value. Okay, can you understand me? Okay, do you know? Okay, so third, third is site post entity. Okay, yeah, very good. Okay, what's our next? What's our next? Do you know what's the rest? The next? Do you know? Do exit. Do you understand? So how how to do how to do right? What should what should you do right? Client invoke function named E X E C U T E. Do you understand? And post like this, you will find the zero is on red line because it may be produce an uh, exception. So add cast is okay. Like this, can you understand? Yes. So. Client exit exit function exit function will return return a HTTP response. Okay, so we should define a HTTP response. HTTP response like this, and there is a red arrow. So you should import class. 
fix and the, the faves the faves so we should uh, we should what what should we do if we get if we get the response now we can check check the check request check request the result do you understand check result do you know check result so the first the int code I response first I I can get the status line and get the status code is a code so the the last the last code is the same to 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 test the map like this Similar to same same to here. Do you do you understand? So if code HTTP status SC okay okay so we can HTTP ENTIY result. Get entity and result entity utils. There are two between result. Okay, like this. Else, you just return return request. Failed. Request the code. Response code. Okay.
Okay, so now, now, okay, so look, look here, don't forget, don't forget, don't forget, this function, this function's re return is a string, so don't forget, return, return, now, do you know, don't forget, if you, you forget this line, it will, it, it will, is a, there is a, there is an error, okay? Yeah. So now we refactor, we refactor the first code, the first code, the first function about uh, HTTP post. Do you understand? Yeah. Next, uh, next class, we will, we will refactor IFTC. Refactor, refactor the whole, the whole, the whole, the whole code, okay?